Hey, Paula. Meet me at the partner. Now from San Francisco, Fillmore District. That's the west side of San Francisco. Born and raised, Mount Zion Hospital to visit Daryl. That's uptown in our hood. But my mama lived in Martin Luther King, Eddie Street. So they kicked her out the hospital the next day after she had me. And my first day was in the projects. <laughs> Literally within 24 hours of being born. And uh, my early days, man, it's project life. You know, it's apartments and then it's projects. So San Francisco is a small city. It's like a micro uh, New York in terms of some of the building structures and having tall projects. And uh, my father was from OC Projects. 12 story jets. My mama was from Fulton Street. Not that they was gang members or nothing, but this is the blocks that they, you know, that they grew up on. And then here I come, you know. So I'm learning both angles of my neighborhood up close and personal. And then I'm looking at the music game as I'm growing up. You know, uh, of course, moms and them playing all the, you know, cameo and all the Marvin Gaye shit, the Michael Jackson, all that. But. The rap game started when I was about 10, like hip hop. I think I was about eight, nine, 10. And it was a news report that officially came on television showing young black uh, children spray painting their name on the wall or break dancing. Yeah, it's this new thing called break dancing and, and sweeping America. And, uh, you know, Run DMC as a earliest thought of some rappers LL Cool J, my earliest thoughts of some rappers that being in, in elementary school and looking at the way music was impacting me. It was in 88, I was 14. Mm -hmm. And they have a place called Pier 39 downtown San Francisco. And it's an amusement type park. But for $20 a song, you can go in this booth and they'll give you the lyrics to any of these rappers that was on the list. I remember uh, Run DMC, Will Smith, Parents Don't Understand, and I remember spending $20. I spent $40 for two songs. But the man let me keep recording. If I, He was charging me by the hour, but I'm like, shit, he like, if you finish, then you can go ahead and do another one. So I'm like, shit, I'm gonna run these two hours. And I was 14 and I remember making six songs and I remember making copies of my first six songs to sell to somebody who wanted copies as a kid. So, um, and that's only because of MTV, you know, seeing rappers and shit on TV and Russell Simmons and Adidas deals, niggas, you know, niggas had Nike uh, Adidas deals way back then. The shoes is out, the, the girls like the clothes, the guys, you know, the dope boys got it, being young, wanting it, infatuated. But I always knew music was part of money. I don't know exactly how I was going to make it, but I always knew. Watching Run DMC and them, how they became millionaires off some damn songs. So I, I think that was burned into me early.